Inside the Syrian capital's Great Umayyah Mosque, the intoning of the Azan, or call to prayer, can be heard across the Asian quarters of Damascus. Muazzins, from young to old, collectively perform a recital that is unique at the centuries-old mosque. Muhammad Ali Sheikh is the eldest among them. Coming from a long line of muezzins, he has been one for 68 years. For centuries, the Umayyad Mosque has drawn in worshippers. However, loudspeakers were only installed in 1980s and muezzins used to recite call to prayer directly from the minaret. With decades of experience, Muhammad says that becoming a muezzin is a journey. A muezzin's voice must be beautiful and sweet and loud. Afterwards, he can learn about performance and intonation. Muhammad's nephew, Abu Anas, has been reciting the call to prayer for 10 years. Being a muezzin runs in Abu Anas's family. My father was a muezzin, my grandfather was a muezzin, my grandfather's father was a muezzin. As far as we know, it's five generations, but it dates back longer than that. Just a few meters away from the mosque, Muhammad al Sahir owns a small silver shop. But when prayer time comes, he drops his tools and heads to Shanti Azan. I apologize to my customers. Many come and I have to tell them, sorry, I have to worship. And many understand. Even Christian clients ask me to pray for them. In the third holiest site in Islam, Firas al Kazaz calls worshippers closer to God. He is the latest member of his family in 500 years to lead prayers at the cherished Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. The first day I asked my father if I could do the call to prayer, the weather was cold, there was snow. I was afraid that anyone could hear me because Al-Aqsa inspires awe. So I did the call to prayer, and the head of the waqif asked, Who was that? And my dad said, That's my son. He said, He has a beautiful voice, but it's weak. It's harder than singing. It's known that it's harder than singing. It's not easy because the Qur'an, the prayers, the grammar, the basis is complex and it's not easy. When in Jerusalem, the calls to prayer echo in harmony. Baghdad, it does not quite match from one mosque to another. Despite strong sectarian differences in Iraq, Shiite Muazzin Muntadar and his Sunni counterpart, Azawi, work together to bring Muslims under one roof. We have inherited these customs and traditions from our fathers, uncles and grandfathers. There is love and we do not differentiate. Ashhadu anna 
You do not know if a worshipper is Sunni or Shiite unless you see him pray inside a mosque. Sometimes they come pray here, and during Muharram, they come and mourn here. We join them when they celebrate the birth of the Prophet Muhammad. The Musab bin Umayyah Mosque offers Quran classes. I take my children there to learn, even though it's a mosque of our Sunni brothers. As Muslims prepare for the start of the holy month of Ramadan, the sound of muezzins resonates even louder in empty streets, with the world remaining in confinement to battle the COVID-19 virus.